What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video where today we're going to be checking out a couple of new Amiibo utilities for the 3DS. One that allows you to actually back up your Amiibo to a file on your SD card and one that allows you to duplicate an Amiibo from one to another so that they both have the same stats and the same information on both of them. Now there also is a third leg to this which will be covered in its own video which is being able to emulate an Amiibo without actually using any Amiibo. So that's very interesting. We'll take a look at that in its own little video. But Bit Crew today, let's check out the Amiibo Backup Utility and the Amiibo Duplicating Utility. So to get into the Backup Utility, we are going to need to get into Homebrew Launcher because it only comes in a 3DSX file currently for some reason. I don't know why, but that's how it is. And we're just gonna roll with it. So both of these utilities were made by a developer named Morix Gergo or something along those lines. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but we are going to back up both of these amiibo and then duplicate one of them to make sure that this whole thing works. So when we first start up the app, we are given some options. We can restart the scanning, we can rescan an amiibo if it's in range, or it's already welcoming us to scan the amiibo. So we should scan it on the bottom screen. There's no graphic or anything to indicate it, but just trust me, it works. So we're gonna take red tune link here and put them on the scanner. Uh-oh, a problem occurred. It seems like the load amiibo data returned something, feel free. So. Okay, wow. I've tested this before and I did not have this issue, so let's try it one more time here. Maybe I just put it at a wrong angle or something. Okay, let's try the green amiibo. There we go. Now, it says that the last write date was in 2011. Now, I don't think that's quite correct, because I don't think amiibo started coming out until a couple of years ago. So, that's incorrect. I have written to this probably 11 times. That's probably correct. So it backs it up to a file that you can access to a bin file to be more specific. Now we can actually press Y to scan another amiibo. Let's see if this one works. No, this amiibo does not work. Red Link is so strong, he's broken. Oh, you wanna know why this is not working? This was actually an amiibo that I had hacked to be absolutely buffed out in Smash Brothers. So there's no way we can really duplicate him so to say, or back him up. But what we can do is we can duplicate him to him. So I've got Smash loaded up here. Let's just verify the information on these Amiibo just to see what their stats are, what they're looking like. Put him on there. So he is a level 50 bunny hop, and then we'll put him on there. The data is corrupted, no matter. No wonder it doesn't work. Would you like to restore it? Why not? I did not know Smash Brothers even had a restoration process. Let's see what he looks like now. There we go, he was actually preserved. So he is level 50. And uh, I don't remember if his stats was all buffed out or what. But what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate his information to his information. So these should essentially become the same character. So this is a Me Too. it's an amiibo duplication software. And it works pretty good. So, we're going to put the source amiibo on there, which is going to be the green. And then we have to press A. That's it's difficult. Okay. Do not remove Amiibo, it says. Do not do it or you will be lashed a million times. Okay. Now put the destination Amiibo, which is red here. Press A. Do not remove Amiibo. It was a absolute success. So now we're going to jump back into Smash Brothers to see if these two characters are now the exact same. Okay. Put green on there. Okay. Yeah. Now put red on there. And they are exactly the same, minus their tunic is not the same. That is actually weird. His name is still red, but he's got the statistics of him. Hmm. Let's take a more in depth look at that because it doesn't seem like all the information actually traveled. Okay, let's see what his stats are. Oh, got some gifts there. Okay, so he's got 37, minus 15, and 24. Now, let's see what red stats are. It, it thinks it's a, oh yeah. I guess it would think it's a green one. 
so I got some stats from it. And he actually does come in the same color. Nate, yep, all his stats actually did come over, but for some reason his name did not actually change. It's still red. So that's very odd. But everything else seems to work just great. So if you want to duplicate your amiibo to another one, let's say that your buddy really likes an amiibo you trained, you could duplicate your amiibo to their amiibo or vice versa. There's probably a few different uses that you could use duplicating an amiibo for. I would say the most actual effective part of this whole amiibo application is the actual amiibo emulation, which like I said, we'll look at on a different separate video here. But this is really cool how you can duplicate your amiibo, you can back your amiibo up. If you want to back your amiibo up because you have good progress on it, but you want to start totally new progress, well now you can back up your amiibo and save its stats and then wipe it and then start new. And if you're not liking how it's turning out, you can restore it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is some really cool applications. I'll put the links to all of these apps in the description. You will need a modded 3DS and you will need homebrew and or custom firmware. Depending on if you want to just use the backup utility or you want to actually use the duplication utility as well. Anyways guys, please like it up, subscribe it up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, big crew.